Hey yo, welcome back everybody to Uncle Kari. You're spelt correctly this time. Thanks to a couple people, aka Juice, you pointed out that I spelled Uncle Karius' name wrong. Oops, believe it or not, I remade this character like four or five times. Just because I wanted to have the character ready a long time before the playthrough actually started. And I kept on changing the mod list for the character, so I had to remake them a bunch of times just to make sure there was no errors or anything. And then when the series actually starts, I misspell his damn name. R.I.P. But his name is spelled now. And the reason why we want his name to be spelled correctly is if you have your name spelled as the uh, unique items from the unique weapons and stuff from Juice's mod, you have a higher percentage to get them. So we didn't even have a good well as high of a percentage as we could have because the name was spelled wrong. So now we can actually get his pole. No problem. Maybe I'll just do that. Just... Just let it sink into that slime skin. Speak about slimes. I do want to fight the king slime today. And how are we going to do that easily without dying? I don't know if I'm being 100% honest, but I have an idea. Our map is gone because, you know, I had to remake the character. The only way I know how we can sustain a fight against any boss is looking for heart crystals. Has this always been down here? I just never knew this was down here. Oops. Now we have it now, even though the loot wasn't that good. I don't have the grappling hook. I forgot, I forgot to give him the grappling hook. So yeah, the goal is to go underground and uh, find some heart crystals. Or at least life quartz, either or. They both work, but I prefer life crystals. Because they're a little bit better. We're not going to be... Oh, there's one right there. We're not going to be using these. What's the summoning? That. <laughs> Briar spirit. Okay, let's get this heart crystal, and let's just make sure if we go over here, there's nothing else. Maybe I'll use that statue in the future. I feel like that could probably be something useful. So we actually have 180 health. We're getting 20 because of this, the life jelly. So hopefully that won't confuse us at any point in time, and won't confuse any of you at any point in time. We're going to do some fishing later on in the episode. I was going to do it at the beginning of the episode, but I was like, it's daytime. We want to walk around during daytime, but then I end up going underground. So I probably could have did some fishing at the beginning. But uh, don't worry about it. You'll get your fishing, all right? And I already know what song I'm going to be playing during the fishing episode. It's Wasteland, made by DM Dokuru. There you go. There's a song you're going to ask for. I meant to put it in the, uh, like have the the title of the song pop up in the video but i just completely forgot to do that during editing because uh i was trying to think of a fact to put up on the screen during the fishing part and that took way longer than i thought it would because i was just like brain dead when i was trying to think of a fact but yeah there is eight orcs if you guys read the fact from last episode there is eight orcs and one of them does not have a name yet we've done five orcs so far uh, we did David. I'm trying to do it. Let's see if I can do it in order. David, Casminicus, Larkus, Nunderson, Uncle Carius. That's five right there. And we're missing Book, uh, Grognak, and an unnamed orc. Orc an orc still doesn't have a name. You may be like, what's that orc? What's the class of that orc? It's the healer orc. So I don't know how many of you know that I'm doing a healer orc. I am doing a healer orc. And there you go. Now you know. Keep that information for the future. It will be multiplayer, but it won't be a lot. Multiplayer will be like one or two people besides me. It might be the boys or it might be the girls. I don't know. <laughs> it might be the boys or it might just be the boys. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any NPCs. I don't even know where the guide NPC is. I think he died at some point in time. So we'll just pretend that he was never here. I don't like that we're ending up into the desert by him. Can this can these enemies stop spawning in? I'm just trying to just trying to, you know, find a way out of here. Without enemies attacking me. So let's let's use this. Our beautiful fish staff should i even mine more gold i should i should mine all these ores but i'm lazy i'm so lazy to mine these ores 
we'll do it anyways. That's why we have Vein Miner in here. No, I'm kidding. We don't have Vein Miner. Maybe I will in the future. But for now, I could care less. It only takes like one second. Hey, there's some goodies down here. AKA Heart Crystal, the only thing that I see right there. Because it is literally the only thing that's down there. A Blink Root? I don't know if I really want a Blink Root. There's one right there. This is how you do it right here. You flying carpet. Boom. Bombing these guys. Oh my god. Look at the ricochet. The Rico. The ricochet. That was a clean ricochet. Alright. Our inventory is already like full. So it's a good sign. But we're doing pretty good on the heart crystal part. Ooh, he saw something. He's going for something. Hey. Get that bag of money. Get that bag of money. Come here. Come here. Fuck. Come here. I really need a double jump and to get rid of this carpet. <laughs> Once I get the double jump. Double jump is going to be very useful. Alright, we can trash pretty much all that stuff. I don't really need any of it. Primarily the wooden chest and the shirkins. Don't need any of those. There we go. I mean, I really should be mining this ore, but we got one priority right now. And that's heart crystals. So boom, bada, bing. Let's just go for the heart crystals. And let's get some of the ore. Why not, you know? So we can actually mine quartz, which might be pretty useful. I don't know. Quartz, would you guys consider quartz an aquatic type of thing? Is blue. But we can't consider everything blue aquatic. Or not quartz, lapis is what I meant to say. I probably, well, I don't know. Riptide, it has a tide in it. Water and tide. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If I really want something from there, I'll make it. But I don't really want anything from there. Maybe the pendant. But even then, that's like pushing it a little bit. So what does the pendant do? It doesn't do anything crazy. Somebody's about to drop on my head. You didn't think I saw that. You too. I didn't see you, but I saw the gold. This. Melee strikes of chance apply lapis shield. Lapis shield can stack three times increased defense. Like, it's not bad. But I got a lot of accessories. So I have the life jelly instead of that, like, rusty hook. And the fishing knife. I noticed the fishing knife was complete garbage. <laughs> it's not useful at all. Enemies gotta be like right next to you. You pretty much gotta be getting hit by the enemies for it to come into use. So that's why I'm just gonna remove that from my existence. Remove it from my humble abode. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm just saying words. I just got rid of it from my accessories. That's all I'm trying to say. Let's cut down these trees. I'm not gonna get every single mushroom here. But we'll get a bunch just in case we need some. Ow. And we're more than likely going to need some. So we're doing good on health though. 260? 260 is pretty good. There's a pressure player right here. There was another one. Whew. <laughs> I didn't see that other one. Oh, fuck. That's a hobgoblin, bro. Who? Gotcha now. What you going to do now? What you oh, he throws it through walls. <laughs> oh, he drops uh fungus. I don't know what the hell that's called. I was talking about like another episode. I was like, we're looking for a fungus. I don't know where to find that. There it is right there. That's how you find it. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Fungal spore. That's what it is. Okay. So we can fight the... Uh, can we stop with the boulders? We can fight the Everglade Wraith right now. Probably should. Let's... let's fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright. We're gonna. I'm going to just launch nades this whole time. This isn't good. <laughs> uh, I hope we can beat this boss. I mean, once we get rid of it, it's like... Little dudes, we're good to go. Yeah, look. You ain't got nothing on me. We're only fighting it once, alright? Only once. Because it has no useful accessories and I get nothing out of fighting it. So there's no point in me, for me to do it multiple times. Jungle spores. Okay, interesting. Something is dropping jungle spores. Fungal spores. That's what I'm looking for. That's the only spore I'm looking for. The game is pretty good too. So that's that might be another spore I'm looking for. I like that game. But we need how many more hard crystals? 24. Well, 6. 16, I think. Am I, is that including? Did I include? No, I think it's 16. <laughs> if we're not including the one we already have. Or the 20 health we get from the life jelly. It should be 16 more crystals. There's a lot of work just to fight a boss, but we want to be sure here. You never want to be underprepared. You always want to be either overprepared 
or just prepared enough. But we're going for just enough. Like, we're going for the area that's, like, underprepared and just enough. Like, somewhere in between there. As long as we're in between there, it's good enough. We could take on King Slime. All right, here we are at the beautiful ocean. Y'all know what time it is. We about to get our fishing in. But let me create a little tiny shack to hide in. This will be the go-to uh, hidey hole while we're out here. This will just be something. Pull that back in. This will just be something nice to hide in and be safe in while we fish. So let me make the floor a little bit longer. I haven't decided if I'm going to make my own man-made fishing area or if I'm just going to live at the ocean. I still have not decided. I'm not going to ask you for your guys' like decision on that because I want I want to decide that. that this is like something I should decide instead of doing like a straw poll vote. Because I have a feeling I know which things you guys are going to pick. But let's make this beautiful home that enemies can indeed jump in from the bottom of. Maybe not jump in from the bottom of, but... Okay, yeah, they can jump in if they wanted to. Only if they're zombies, though. As you, you saw right there, that was just straight up a zombie that jumped in. Jesus Christ, can I just build... Stop misplacing platforms, stop breaking stuff on accident. There we go! Get, get to the music. All right, so we're back. We gotten our goodies. We got murdered by some very scary looking crocodiles from Calamity. But we got everything here. Uh, let's, I guess, just store all this stuff. Might as well. And then let's, I don't know if I'll use these. I'll hold on to them. 
tempted with the ropes. I don't think I'll use ropes anymore since we do have a grappling hook now. But we got Uncle Kari's fishing pole. That's one of the things we got. That's crazy. Requires me to catch fish's pole. This is the pole of old Uncle Karis. Does more damage and fires more hooks as he kills bosses throughout the game. Fish power is equivalent to damage. And right click to throw some fish. Loss increase for boss progression. So peep this. Whoa. Did y'all see that? It's not really. I don't really know what's going on. I'm just kind of just swinging it. What is that? Is it right click? Maybe we don't even have any fish yet. Yeah, that makes sense that we don't have any fish. But let's go ahead before we get to find the king slime. Let's put these in here. Hold on to that. Might as well. And let's open up these crates. Not really anything special. But we got some odd crates here. So we're gonna we're gonna try and open these up and see what happens. We're gonna get our ass eaten. Okay, yep, just take your time getting out of there. Alright. Yeah, this guy needs to die. Well, let's use these stingers on him. Or on this guy. Because they do a lot of damage. It's good that I hit at least three of those. He's moving so sporadically. Oh, he got out. He got out. Oh, he's back in. I mean, he chose to go back in there. Does, does this pole work like the Battle Rods ones? I don't think it does. I mean, the, the lure hurts him. I'd rather just throw grenades at him. Th throw grenades really badly at him. Oh, look, it gave us a weather radio. Sweet, I'll take it. Okay, let's do another one. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Get out. All right. Can you come up here? It's actually way easier when he comes up here. Ooh. I can actually get the bombs in there. <laughs> or get the grenades in there. Uh oh. Yeah, that's fine. We switched spots. I'll take it. Oh, God. He came down here. Okay. We're getting some goodies right here. Fisherman's pocket guy and weather radio. We just need the sextant, right? And we can combine them all together. Ooh, we need Tinker's workshop, though. It's all good. All right. One more. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. You're doing what I said you shouldn't do. Uh, What's going to be the best way? Probably going back to this rod and just casting it in there. There we go. And now we sit here and wait. Now that it takes too long. We'll just use the bomb. Let's get a couple more hits off. Alright. Can you come up here? It's actually like a lot easier when you come up here. Or just stay like right there. Stay like right there. Oh, perfect. We already have that though. It's fine. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Uh, Hold up. We got some enemies making interesting noises. Troll! Get out of here. But yeah. Let me do some storage stuff. And then I'm going to run to the corruption. Get the stuff set up for uh, the boss. And we should be ready to fight King Slon. Alright. We are back in action. I got everything ready here. Let's hope we can take on the King Slime. Red, one, two, three. One, uh, one, two, three. I'm sorry. For the okay. Let's do it. I'm as ready as ever. There you go. That's how we're doing this fight. <laughs> Just a quick latching on. Okay, no, we should not fuck around. We should go for go for the kill. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I'd like to see you teleport in here. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. It's a joke. It's a joke. Don't. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. You asshole. I told you not to do it. And he. What did he do? He went and did it. What a jerk. All right. Whoa. I launched that guy towards me. Oh God. See, he's catching me off guard now. I'm over here having some fun and stuff. He's over here catching me off guard. Don't worry. Regular slimes can't drop through platforms. I lied. They can't. They definitely can't. So if you notice, we're in a little bit of a predicament as in we are on the other side of where my arena is set up. But it don't matter. It don't matter. It's just a king slime. But look how much health he took off. Imagine if I didn't have all that health. Would have went bad. Would have went bad very easily. But I came prepared with the health. Uh, we're going to attempt to kill all these slimes. Because I do really need gel. Ryan the guide was slain. He literally just moved in. As you saw, I set up some boxinator houses. Because I needed some houses. I needed some houses to start getting set up so I can sell stuff. Uh, and other things. Buy stuff, I guess, pretty much. But yep, there you go. King Slime has been defeated. That's the first boss of the series. Uncle Kari says, pole gets a little bit stronger. Probably not going to use it until Pass Eye Cthulhu.
because its fishing power is lower than what we currently have so we should hold on to it until after i can do loot we're holding something here oh it's a quest item okay sweet so night time dudes will move out or move in i guess but look we're gonna place that trophy right there just for just so future bosses know that i ain't messing around we out here we packing out here we packing out here i think the next couple of episodes i'm gonna try and work on a house i think it's really important that i get a house i have no npcs that buy stuff kidding me i got this guy and i got this guy and i had a guy that moved in but he died quickly so i'm happy he died quickly as messed up as that sound like we, we needed him to die quickly though so i don't know a merchant can spawn in someone with some useful stuff can spawn in that would be very nice we're gonna place the solidifier right here boom boom bada bing and uh we're gonna make some new accessories here before we end off this episode and what those accessories are i have no clue i'm about to go look them up all right so there's two accessories i want to attempt to make here i want to make this one the bob scope which tries to hit all your bobbers where cursor is aiming because i do have a very big problem with aiming my bobbers i took off all my clothes again but i'm still wearing it because <laughs> i needed to clear the chest all right so i had to put my clothes back on but look i was aiming it right here look where it went it went like straight down and then i bounced and hit the enemy we don't want that so we need a gold i do have a good bit of gold so i should be able to make all of this i think all of it as in two accessories yeah look at that. we got 89 gold or that should make a good bit and we need lens lenses which should be in the first chest if not it's in the third chest uh if not it's in the second chest this is why I need magic storage as early as possible because I am partially blind. Maybe I just don't have any. Okay, I was about to say. I swear I had some. All right, where is it? There it is. Bob scope. There's something else right there that I'm trying to see. It's like at the bottom. I, I can't see it. I literally can't see it. All right, go to this. Oh, it was just nothing. Okay. Boom. Bob scope completed and it's hasty. Sweet. The other one is a metronome i want to make this one the slow well it doesn't well let's see increase fishing damage by 10 percent, but decrease bob speed by five percent okay so you can switch between the two whenever you want i think but you do need a table we'll do uh this one so it's 15 iron chain 10 gold no problem uh i should say lead and not iron because that's what we have is lead and we should be, able to, should be able to make it. It's somewhere around here. Scroll down. I know it's down. No, it's not. Let's make sure we have everything. I'm pretty sure I'm looking right at it. I'm just blind. I think. Table. Wait, no. We need a regular table. Okay, that's why I'm not able to make it. We need a regular table. Stop. Reel that back in. Stop. Reel it back in. I keep on throwing it out. All right. Boom. Somebody's getting an upgrade over here. One lucky person is getting an upgrade. There you go. There's your upgrade. But uh, yeah, let's make the slow metronome. Boom, bada, bing. It's violent too. It's just how I like them. So useless accessories right now, at least in my opinion. Don't want to use this anymore. Because I don't really care about reeling in towards enemies. Uh, Allows you to recast very fast if Bob's a retreat from an enemy. That... Do I care that much about that? Not really. We're going to get rid of it for now. Because it doesn't seem as useful as it could be. So might as well just put it in here. So this is why I wanted more accessory slots. So we can just like combine all of them together. But hopefully this makes us stronger. 40 fishing damage. It's always stayed 40. Let's just see how fast we can kill this guy. So we reel the enemy towards us. If we're not wearing that one accessory, we reel in enemies towards us. But there's that. I need to kill an enemy with these accessories now. So hopefully one of them spawns in. Scooter! Oh wait, I need to buy a piggy bank first. Let's start with that piggy bank. Let's put our gold in there. There's an enemy to the left somewhere. I heard you. There's an enemy to the right. Stop! Don't kill him. <laughs> I mean, the damage still feels the same, but... We'll probably notice it eventually. There was an accessory called the Omni Lure that I wanted to make. Where the hell is it? The thing is, with a lot of these like hooks and lures, you need hooks, like actual hooks. Oh, there it is. I see it. 
You need hooks, and I don't have any hooks, so we gotta go on like a hook farming spree. We do have a piranha statue though, so um, we might be able to set that up. But yeah, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Game Raiders. Get uh, my uh.